God, basically. And, but she guarded him at the last second, or he guarded her at the last second, I forget, but as you can see, he does not look good here. This is really, and God, you know, if his, uh, you know, family or mafia or whatever he's in charge of saw it, they'd probably be like, oh crap, someone's getting, yeah, so anyway. <sighs> Involving himself in Pecco's execution like that, suffering all those wounds. Is he really going to live? Was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Yeah, Monokuma was such a little jerk about it. He literally, he had like a Monokuma van and was like, let's, let's go get him. And Mommy's like, stop messing around. You gotta save him. It's your duty to save him, you know. Because he didn't do the crime. I mean, technically, he wanted to or had to, but his... You know, Pekko Yama, you know, was his bodyguard. So, of course, whatever she does, it's going to guard him. So, you know, she did the dirty work. And her explanation for how she got away with it is she, like... Ah, it's a long story, but, uh... You, you don't need to know that much neat details. It was just very sad. <sighs> it's consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. That worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Boost my I guess it's free time. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So he said, I guess I should have to, Oh, okay, I don't do it. That's right, just do it. I should be a bear with the rest of us, and then we'll question Monokuma afterward. I'm definitely gonna find out if Hiko is safe or not. Hey, save. Hey, how's my pet doing? Yay, Snakey Me's still fine. Yay. <sighs> All right. Well, at least some of these games still work, knock on wood, but yeah. If I could talk to- oh, hello! Good morning, Sonya. Huh? Ajime! Get fall. back! Who do you think I am? I am sorry! Oh, that was not a it's okay, please be your usual self. Yeah, because she's a princess. Yeah. As close, I was really gonna kneel before her. Um, terribly so I was sorry about Fuyahigo that I could not sleep at all. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just so embarrassed to be seen like this. I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta da She looks like she normally does, but just as I thought, Sonya and I were worried about the same thing. Is Fuyahigo really okay? Hey, Chiaki. Morning, Chiaki. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up earlier than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Mm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused in the game. Or is it just me? <laughs> she just stares at me. Oh, God. You. Hachime, you're already here? Yoko, you're the only one here. Why? What are you acting so anxious about? Anxious. It just happened to be awake by coincidence. I just came here early. I see. This girl. There's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? Holy... <laughs> what is that? What the heck is this? Uh, a panel has been propped up. It's given off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't my hero take these photos? What's with this terrifying ambiance? I mean... Uh... Yay! Wow! Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa! whoa. Or, wh why am I saying wow at that? What's the... What... what? Oh, I read that wrong. Okay, I was like, uh, Hajime, are you okay? But that's her. What's this? What an adorable decoration. Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> My hero's gonna be happy too. 
I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hyoko, did you... Hello? Uh, good boy, I so rare to run into you two here. What are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> what, are, what are these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. No! Oh, what happened? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo! What's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this is bad. Please, take a look at those photos. Huh? Photos? <laughs> ah! <laughs> what the heck? I mean... Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> what kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm. This is clearly an insult against my Damn it! I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they got a lot of nerve. <laughs> It's too much to actually treat my hero's photos like this. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, everyone, I understand you guys feel, but it's probably. Okay. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good mom, girl. Eh? <laughs> What's those nasty photos? They're giving off a crazy, huge, ominous aura. There's no excuse! This is too terrible! How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? <laughs> no, no, seriously, it's just, uh... Hey! I, I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right, there's no way! My hero would be happy with this. <laughs> she won't just be unhappy, I'm sure she'll be angry, she'll cry tears of blood! Oh god. And who the hell did this? No! We'll have to search for a criminal later, in the meantime! Fire! Start the fire! We'll have a grandpa for us back here and get rid of Nevada! Seriously, this is, uh... Hold it! You can't. No one took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. <laughs> burn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. Mahiru. You think so? I think it's just a little clumsy. See? I just take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances. Perhaps. Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? I hear's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? I definitely think, yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hear you say, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> Even though you were just offended, little girl, but okay, fine. Cry if you want. Cry! <laughs> Actually, don't do not do that, please. It cannot be. That's the person who made this. <laughs> it was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. She is probably lonely by herself. So I want to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Should <laughs> Hiyoko you all? <laughs> My tears are like waterfalls. <laughs> yeah, I want to make it look better, but... I'm so dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. <laughs> sorry, I've been here, but I was doing stuff, but I'm more here now, okay? <laughs> I am sorry. I'm sorry. Basically, Hiyoko uh, did a... Thing where it was like, oh, I'm gonna mourn my friend, and it looks like freaking, like, demonic, like, altar. And she's upset, like, oh god, no, I would never disrespect her, and then everybody's like, oh, this is horrible. And <laughs> I spoke at a term without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Yoko. I'm so sorry. Well. How should I put See, that, that's what it is. That. I mean. <laughs> How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. She's psycho. For now. So let's get this thing around till we get off this island. No. It should come with us when we get off this island, too. It'd be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not! We would never burn it! You. Weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! I'll forgive you, except Mikan, of course. Why are you so strict with me? I see. Yeah, I see. it's so unexpected. Hello. I really can't imagine Yoko being so diligent and earnest about something. <laughs> Who cares about that? <laughs> Yoko has a very kind heart. Oh my god, guys, I shut up. 
kind? Oh, come on. It's not like that. Please. Stop it already. You're being nice to me. That's somehow insulting to me. I don't know why. Sh shouldn't we be talking about Fuhiko? I actually like him. You probably missed all my monologue, Hope, but <laughs> Fuhiko, the mafia guy. The small guy that was like, I'm gonna kick your ass. And he was like, he got really, really, really hurt in the execution that he was not supposed to be part of. But because of his bodyguard taking the fall, he was, like, attached to her, and... Monokuma wasn't supposed to kill him, you know. It's rare that you, uh, intervene with a... Oh, yeah, you saw... Okay, good, it's not just me, then. I mean, not just me, I meant, like, you didn't miss it, then. Don't tease me! It's so adorable when she's a bit... Oh, my God, Mikan, you're just a glutton for punishment, aren't you? See? You pig-faced troll! Anyway, I hope this is finally settled now. I'd like you guys to settle things like that. Oh, oh. Feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. That, that That's just like you guys. We're trying to understand and find the good in each other. Yep. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair toward our situation. You guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Oh! This body is uncooperative. Co I can't talk like him. He can. Damn it! I have arrived. Apologies for the what? What? <laughs> what the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible. <laughs> a malice clings to my Haru even after her death. We'll be sucked in, and if we look directly at it, oh my God! His turtles—they're <laughs> scared too. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You're the Worst. <laughs> uh, wow, this is really a hope. <laughs> no, uh, really <laughs> hopeless object. Doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming of malice. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it one more second. I'll destroy you! <laughs> stand aside! I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, do it. Do it right in front of her, man. But kick her out when she cries like that, because it's really annoying. Um, now that uh, now that those two are here, do you still think we're good? That we're splendid? That's gonna take a little more time. I completely agree. Seeing it falling in front of me was so embarrassing. All I could do was sigh. <sighs> but at least that was a peaceful scene. It was peaceful embarrassment, <laughs> like in a like in a sitcom or something. Oh, God. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this piece would be. You know, we were finally bonding. Kind of. A situation was brewing like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. I don't know why I'm talking in this voice. That's so not him. But yeah, we just haven't realized yet. It's basically just me talking, but you know. Oh. Chapter 3. Trapped by the Ocean Scent. Ooh. Okay. New place! <laughs> St I can't eat another damn bite! Hey. Are you sure you eat? Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried! <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about food? Yeah, let's talk about him, man! Um. Is he really alright? I was so sick. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if I could attempt to his wound somehow, I wish I was so useless. But I don't think you guys should worry about it. Ooh. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Right. Yeah, I get a belly full of- I'm all set! So... Need the rest of me, I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fihiko. That's obviously wrong. Avenge? He's not even dead. He was damn close to it, man. Did you guys see him? Seriously. Jeez. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, she flat out admitted it. Hello! Okay, everyone! <laughs> Can I have your attention, please? Meaningless. Uh, oh, chew, Monami. What do you want? Jeez! And the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Did I just ruin the mood? Yes, you did. <laughs> Don't try to be so harsh. I did my very best today, too. Who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um, oh, you finally asked me! Hey. Once again, I defeated another Mono Beast. Are you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. You defeated a Mono Beast, that means... Hey, you're now able to visit yet another island! 
that's all that happened. Uh, yeah. Live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? Now we're getting tricked by Monokuma. Now we're thinking about leaving this island. Monomi, we, we don't want to. Why do we want to stay here? Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. New island, uh. Well, maybe now we'll find a way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Can you guys think we'll leave this island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, Monomi, what happened to Fuyuhigo? Yeah, please. Fuyuhigo. Um... You see, I don't really know. I the... won't be fooled. Son, you can't just say it's a waste of time asking her, and the answer is just Monokuma's al ally. You're also part of that mysterious world enter organization, aren't you? Hey! It's our decision that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us, that's gotta be it. I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity, it's time you finally filled us in. The dilemma, that's the only thing I can't say! This tragedy of middle management! Hold on a sec! She ran away. she's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Oh, who cares about Monami? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island, right? What should we do? However, yeah, I think we should be exploring what Fihiko's in danger. <laughs> we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap, damn it. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fihiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? And there if we do what we can? We can. She's alright, let's try to find a way out this island before he comes back. Mm, you are right. Fihiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. Yeah, of course you do. You get your crushing on her, man. It's so obvious. Alright. This aside, let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. It's probably faster just beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands in one go. Give it to me. That's strange like a rag defeat one, it should be easy for us too! Hold on! Yeah, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin! <laughs> let's hope for the way to hope-filled future of our very own hands. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what <laughs> Nagino wants us to do. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> our perfect war we, we left a restaurant. I am stupid, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. All right. They're not there. Well, I guess so, because we gotta... On. when it's story written you have to like manually do this stuff I've let me check on my my little my little snaky oh no got one to spare that's not good oh uh -huh, you can't progress here yet yeah shut up Obvious that was blind, the bridge is gone. If we cross, we should reach the new island. Feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear. Okay. Across the bridge that led to the new island. Ooh. So this is the third island. <gasps> the ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. <laughs> Titty Typhoon, what a name. Maybe better proceed cautiously. It looks like Wow Wow West. Oh, let me. Oh, let's look at our report card. Uh, I like that music. 
dead. <laughs> Alright. Also dead. Oh, she just wanted to pet fluffy animals. Well, more to it than that, but yeah. I leveled up! Woo! Sorry, I had to rehydrate. Okay. Well, not really. I'm, drink I'm drinking a soda, but whatever. The hospital's like, um, that's like some out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> You're not sorry! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry I scared you, but don't worry, even if you have a heart attack you get too scared, this is a hospital after all. <laughs> this is definitely the best place to have a heart attack, yeah. <sighs> Good god. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I'm gonna have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. This has been a little strange. Can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. I thought here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? I saw the medical supplies are still. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. Ah, that means I need to check, check them right. Well, you are the nurse, yes. I had to do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Radically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. Does it mean it's okay to leave this place to hurry? Uh huh. <gasps> yes, sir. I must talk to you. Damn it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? I have said too much. <laughs> forget, forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered the information, and now he's already telling me to forget it. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Paper the bullet. Apparently it's an awesome notice. It's got Monaco's face on it. I don't trust it. There's no one in the island, so who was this notice written for? Alright, let's see. Are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to be gone. Okay, so I'm supposed to just... Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Literal tumbleweed. Hold up. Yay! You're still okay. <laughs> what a name. The club or music venue. Well, whatever. Close. It's of its gaudy and tasteless neon lights. Obvious looks. Obviously looks suspicious. I say for sure there's no danger, I should cautiously, cautiously check what's inside. Oh man, I was so like, if someone else pops up in front of me, I'm not gonna be happy. What the? Why are you shouting so sudden? Don't surprise me like that. Trim is over with I can't help shouting out! That's totally it! Cause this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like I it. I love music! I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited! I next to find it Huh? Did I just say that twice? Yes huh? you did. did... Are, are are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No problem! No no, no I'm totally no fine. Problem. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's just stop talking to her. You don't look very okay. <laughs> we have no choice but to but to lend a helping hand. It's just beginning. <laughs> and even to feel this wonderful feeling, like the smug feeling you get when you explain some elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand. At the same time, I don't understand. Oh, oh! If you're really taking a liking to this, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> like, let me bite ya. I'm tired. I should <laughs> I should hurry and go check out another place. Amazing. What a splendid place, Hajime! It must be the fabled disco! Disco? See? It is where youngs uh, youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas! <laughs> I have no clue what Sonya's talking about. I 
guess I can't really look here yet. Okay. Ah, motel. All right. Hotel motel. Woo. Well, Bill, I guess accommodations on a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen it before in movies, <laughs> but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. What? Do they not have these in Japan? Because this is supposed to be like Japan, I think. What a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary too. It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run dead. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. Oh my god. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Can I make sure we check it out that it's possible there might be a clue here? Oh, damn it. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of staying around here doing nothing? Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get this. There's a saying, praise a fool and you may make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? Whoa. Can I just check out the inside after I gave her a little praise? She got really excited about it. I thought it was like her. It's pretty rare. We gotta make sure she's treat treated well. If her own attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. Okay, yeah, well, whatever. It's a bunch of... <sighs> Man, they're not, li they're not li letting me look at anything, are they? Alright. a lot of places. A bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances in the back of a narrow alley. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. Wait. But oh, wait, there's more! To many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? I think it's best if we search around here. Mary's desktop and laptop can be arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. They're a little fashion run down, they all look like they could still be used. Oh, we can connect to the internet. We might, be, we might be able to call for help with these. I thought that I grabbed a random laptop, pulled out the pile, and turned it on. Whoa. God, that's a loud computer. Try to see if it'll connect to the internet. It's no easy. It looks like it's not connecting. There's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up, my eye noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Sami X File, what is this? I don't think I clicked that strangely named icon. <laughs> Document file. Based on the four, it looks like it's some kind of report. Scan across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Just call it the tragedy already, people. Come on now. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope's Peak County causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied being treated differently than the primary department began to fight the academy. First, the dispute was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. Things quickly escalated. And the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup. It's not. How do you say it? It seemed to have a much different purpose. No matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to the submers subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized, it is both purposeless and uh, purposeful good word, and malicious. Therefore, it is sub the movement full of despair. Hope's Peak became the origin, like we can't tell what that says. It was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. <laughs> oh, come on, you can obviously read those. Boy! Crowd. Mm, how normal. It's not normal like like a dog barking. It's such a normal that it's actually quite novel. Now I'm really angry. Can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how or gusto, whatever it is, you know how very, very important this scene is. Hey, were you the one who created this file? Hey man, what makes you think that? That's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful I'm not reading all that. Riots in various parts of the world. Host me cabin getting destroyed? Sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And? And? 
Let's have a big uh, reserved apartment. I've never even heard of that before. Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. We're on a subject of stupid things. That file said something about students who survived. Is that... is it referring to us? The rest of that file is... Hold a sec, you guys! Just what the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Movies, no images, music, no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. What are you saying? So you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students that survived? No. I know an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. I think it's referring to the first game. Call it a hunch. Damn it, he ran away yeah. again. Hey, right, Hajime. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it, that's definitely it. <laughs> ah, television. A lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really, it looks like they're not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters, it looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. I uh, like, uh, including home and acoustic, all these look old. Do they still even work? Cell phone. It's a cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get rid of Even with all this variety, they may as well be paper weights. So it looks like she's fishing things out of pile. Chiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If I said, let me know, I'll be carried back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because their, uh, uh, motive was a video game. What's this? Oh, shoot, I totally almost overlooked that. So, look, I have no clue what they're used for. I really recommend that section. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. <laughs> Some ancient-looking surveillance ca cameras, too. Changing to record secret videos. Oh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, all right? No one said you did. You did, you idiot. <laughs> so yeah, surveillance cameras. We're being constantly videotaped and wired up by Monokuma, right? I'm kind of jealous because what... Oh, my God. <laughs> Kazuchi. I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonya? He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of he'll eventually use them. Okay, yeah. A lot of places on this island. Goodness. What the? Movie theater? I don't trust anything of Monokuma's face all over it. Welcome! <sighs> God. Welcome! We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for next showing to start. Showing? What does that mean? What are you saying? Are you guys just for show? Look around. This is a movie theater, right? Of course. And I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie. Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say his next motive, right? Just like Twilight Syndrome murder case? Trademark. I'm definitely not gonna watch your movie. Whatever it is, I'm never gonna see it. Mm -hmm. My goodness, I was thinking I'd given you an in in invitation ticket. But I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. Don't watch it. I'm gonna be sad. Yeah, like we care if you're sad, man. Sure, your movie's no different than the game you made. No, no. The game is a shoddy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Yeah, as long as I refuse to allow it, you will never have a choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma. On this island, my word is law. I don't watch it. What are you gonna do about what it? The heck? There's no way I allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I allow it, but... What are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker. Oh, this big thing? Okay. Some strange goods on top of the counter. Oh, some merch! This one looks like a tote bag made a hip flop of a decal of Monami's face on it. Oh, did I catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. 
of an item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. Mm -hmm. So how about it? Want to buy it? I'll pass. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be up front of you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too up front. Is, it, is this the sticker you were talking about? <laughs> nice. I'm sorry. I was born stupid. It's not funny, and I don't... I laugh, but okay. I don't know how half-ass how half, half is this. Actually. Tell you the truth, this is a very lucky sticker I received from a wandering, miracle-working priest. And it could be yours for a special price of only 1.5 million dollars. 1.5 million dollars? Don't mess with me, I don't even have that kind of money. And isn't that the wrong currency for us, technically? You can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my... Fine, I'll pay it. <laughs> that just shows you how much he really does not want to... <laughs> A surprise! Loving Patrick, get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even 1.5 million dollars. You're the first person to ever pay 1.5 for this sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie on. That makes me a sad Monokuma. <laughs> but if I'm gonna make a huge pro- It's okay, I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here. Come take it, thief, and slap it on your forehead, thief. You can mention this divine opportunity, thief. I see it's even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap. Maybe I am a little crazy. Looks like the showing is over. Alright, I gotta collect those questionnaires. That moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped... <laughs> and, and skipped away toward the door. Oh, okay. Door opened violently and one person appeared from within. Oh no, not you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hey, hey. Ah, Nagito, please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. Doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Um, yes. well, I guess that's what art is, because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. <sighs> that's gonna be another motive. I guess that's the case. What a letdown. I would have settled this. I should have just settled it with money. I got so depressed. <laughs> the movie must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. I'm gonna get this in the meantime. I see it. I knew you could do it. Uh huh. It's a big game. Mm, looks interesting. <laughs> Nice. I know there is a game with her in it. I forget what it's called, but it's definitely connected to the game. I'm definitely gonna buy that. <laughs> Alright, come on. I guess I gotta talk to you, you little... I'm so tired from boredom. Money would've got me out of... should've just settled with money. Let me ask you something. If you, if you were told that you could pay 1.5 million dollars and not watch that movie... That's obvious. I'd gladly pay it. Quick answer, the movie must have been that bad, <laughs> Like, not even, like, you know, funny bad, just bad. It's food shot. A lot of things like popcorn, drinks, are all right here. Even though Monokuma said it's limited to one person, there's no way someone would actually want this. Glowing review, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. Apparently I can watch especially my movie, however I hate- I heard the content is just- <laughs> just terrible. I have to watch since I bought the sticker, but it costs 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. Okay, so what am I supposed to- There's obviously something I'm missing here. Oh, okay. I thought I had to do something more, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, good God. Damn it. Stop doing that to me, Aim. Andre, over here, please hold on. Something Hello? happened. Just now, I went to the hospital and... It appears to me God has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. Very serious discovery at the hospital. It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Andre, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? 
It's the same as if I turn around, he's there. Master, that person in the wind. What are you talking about? Are you so unrefined? It is J Japan's legendary medical drama. That Person in a Wind aired in 1984 and set the stand for every trendy drama that followed. Hello? It's about a righteous rookie doctor and elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> yeah, please worry, we'll be waiting at the patients near the back of the hospital's floor floor. In the back of the hospital's floor floor. I don't really understand, I might as well head over to the hospital. Hello there. Hey, Hajime. It looks like you're the last one. Are the others already here? Yeah. Our patient rooms line that hallway. Everyone is, is apparently gathered at the room in the very back. You're not going with them? <laughs> Sonya is expected from the ultimate princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. Nevertheless, I know my place. And I'm not reckless enough to go with her. It's going to be such a touching scene. A worthless thing like me would just be a nuisance, right? A touching scene? I... Hajime, I'm jealous of you. Jealous? Of me? Hey. You don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no distress and you're even opening up to everyone. Great. That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Wow. No, not at all. He totally is. So I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately mag magnificent talent. No, it's not like it's my fault for dragging us out. You're right. Sorry. sorry, I'm sorry stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go ahead, take care. For all that, what did he really want to say to me? I mean, seriously. It's gonna phase right through you, man. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Uh. That's kind of creepy. All right. Or maybe not creepy, just unsettling. Oh, there's... <laughs> there's Monokumas and aliens, okay. Heaven! Oh, uh, I see you. Hold on. Can't get close enough. Oh, they're rare. Oh, I guess it's like a ghost, I guess. Huh? Are you serious? So I really have no common? Oh, right. Back of the... Your voice is on the other side of the door. Then they're all really here, but... What are they doing here? I have a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously open the door. Oh, God! Ah! Good help raising my voice. Well, Yay! You all look like you've seen a ghost. Oh. Mahiko, are you alright? <laughs> it's just a scratch. <laughs> He's all bandaged up, like, everywhere it looks like. His eye, his hand, ugh. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Monokuma, they showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds. They are relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves are damaged. Aww. Yeah, fierce he was attacked. This is pretty miraculous. <laughs> Ballsy one. Is that what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Maybe it wasn't luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe Echo gave her life to protect Vihiko. Are you serious? She protected him while she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes? But still. Oh yeah, they were marionettes, that's what I meant, I'm sorry. Cause she was like, oh, I'm just a tool, so like a doll, you know. But she really wanted to protect Vihiko at all costs. It's not strange to think that she would have done that. It's better if we think about it like that. You... So too, right, Vihiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, Eight. Who knows? out those words for Hiko turned in his bed away from us. Survivor's guilt. Stop talking. Um. 
Hiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. After Hiko, just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously Seriously, wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. Shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on. Kane, Fuhiko's finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't... I can't stand uh, losing someone any longer. No. I know that. I just have to win, right? This is bad. Man, she doesn't understand at all. Then... I don't want to do whatever you want. Hey, Ekamaru. Please. kind of wonder if she's listen to what's her mind's made up. I know that all too well. Do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. What? <laughs> What, were you guys a couple? Are you breaking up? Aww. However. Oh. However, I'm never gonna do it to you again. Huh? It? Uh, uh, Please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey! Wait, wait a second. Nakamaru. Nakamaru. It was my... <laughs> it was my first time. I never thought something that feels... So good, even existed in this world. My body still hasn't forgotten, and now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, God, that sounds so bad. Uh oh, oh God. Okay. <laughs> Look, my body's getting all hot again. Just thinking of there you are. Hope <laughs> see those eyes. Thinking about it. Hey, hey. Hey, you're you're kidding me. It, 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 is it what I think it is? Huh? Oh, oh, okay. If you're not gonna heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat those words, Nikamari left the patient's room. Wait. Hold on, I can't live without it. <laughs> oh, oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I was ranting the cast about Faye, so that's why. The voice is sounding like you wanted to cling on to Nekumaru. Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my. I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> Oh, it's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. How pitiful. <gasps> yeah, he's back. Humans are such foolish creatures. Oh, God, why are you here? I mean, I know you're here, but damn it. Hey, Yoko. <laughs> it's no Oh, right, because, you know, her her bestie, you know, who, ba who basically was just like, I'm gonna help you tie your kimono, and then they bathed together, and it was really weird and fan servicey, and then it was just like, oh, she meant everything to me, and it's like, oh my freaking god. Uh, something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuhiko, but I guess it makes sense. Fuhiko uh, kind of is the one who got my hero killed by Peko. I mean, and Hyoko is nearly framed as her killer. <laughs> yeah, there, <laughs> there's no way she's gonna get over that. Hey, why are you making such you a know, scary face? Right? Oh, oh god. Like, no matter what it means, it, right? He's still talking about it. Hey, hey. Suspicious, it's definitely suspicious. Uh... Oh my god, dude. All we gotta do is follow them. He thinks so too, right? A fire that doesn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. Oh my god, there's so many people in here. Okay. I talk to you. You're one of you're one of the ones I like. Be a sign and stare at the window. It's best if I don't make the injured talk needed. I should just leave him alone right now. I see. Tokiko's last will was properly inherited by Fuhiko. <laughs> oh, it's romantic, but it's just so sad. <laughs> I shall put my heart and soul into my song. Making loud noises, Mikon's gonna be mad at you. And she has huge needles. Did, did you say something? Now you're too quiet. I can't hear you at all. Oh, she. I think I should just leave her be. Okay. So what should we do? You guys want to call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all the walking we've done today. Let's leave Fuhiko to me. I'll make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best. Do my very best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. We don't care, Hyoko. We we all hate you. I don't think any of my viewers, anybody actually likes you, but, you know. Even though, in the fandom, apparently a lot of people like her just because she's cute. 
<laughs> Screw it. We decided to call it a day and head back to our cottages. Walking around all day, war yeah, that's like the third island, dude. That is a lot of walking. The exhaustion we felt might, might have been a feeling of relief. That was much earlier than usual and fell into a deep, deep sleep. Oh god, he back. Okay. What are you thinking? Huh? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live the. Okay, just checking the time. They stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know. They're being the attack people in groups because they don't have many friends themselves, you know. They're a short temple and say stuff like, Now I'm mad, I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? Lazy people who will run away once the other guy stops fighting back, you know? Oh my god. They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who's a, always a, so they don't know what to, I, I don't feel like reading all this. They wear flashy costumes, which means they're all a bunch of smart good looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have many friends. Emergency! Emergency! You really want to admire people like that? I don't know. Compared to you, I do. Ahem! Hope's good! Now then! It's been a while since I slept a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. Alright, I should head over to the restaurant. Now, hold on. Got, gotta check my little my little buddy. A lot, lot of stuff happened. Okay. Morning, Macon. Hello. How'd you make? Good morning. It's time to meet up there at the restaurant, right? Yeah, I was gonna go as well. Hello. So glad. I want to check on Fuyihiko, so I thought I was late. See, you're so busy this morning. Oh, I'm only useful in situations like this anyway. How's Fuyihiko doing? Maybe better to ask. Maybe better to ask you at the restaurant when everyone's together. Hello. I shall go on ahead. I should go to the restaurant. Okay, let's stop wasting time then. Oh, <laughs> sir, can you can, can you can you enlighten us, please? Yo, Nakamaru. Your voice is too soft. Project your voice more from your stomach. Jeez, does he have to be like this in the morning? Good morning. <laughs> All right, now your voice will reach the sun. And to our departed, Mahiro and Peko. You're right. I'm sure they heard it. Just a mere team manager, for I don't know anything about art. Remember when I saw Mahira's foes the first time? My vulgar heart was greatly shaken! Truly, that is a splendid thing! It's pity what happened to Mahiru, but I'll never forget how she taught me the value of art! Yeah, I'll never forget it either! Why am I yelling? Oh yeah, because he told me to. <laughs> yes, sir! Yo, Gundam! <laughs> for you to actually greet me in the morning, I praise your admirable... Endeavor, slave. <laughs> when did I ever become your slave? Oh, Speaking of slaves, Peko too was a foolish soul. Huh? Fine. I accept her desire to merely remain her owner's loyal tool. However, that's a limitation of base creatures. My four dark days of destructions are, are are not tools, nor are they slaves. Let's go, Jumpy, Magazi, Sandy, Tempe! He just said their names. <laughs> they are healthy underlings and also friends whose loyalty is matched by their devotion to military rule. As we clash over our ideals and our tempers flare, <laughs> that's only bolsters our power and allows us to reach greater heights. <laughs> that is why I will one day exist as a supreme overlord of this world. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> just like that. Apparently, it's too difficult for a simple human to understand. Friends, huh? He sounds very cool. In fact, his friends were hamsters a bit problematic. Oh, come on, man. What's wrong with that? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Aww. Mm. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> I want to listen. Emergency. I want to listen to songs by Buki's favorite artist. So, TV Radio here, you know, I'm starting a different musical deprivation. Don't they sell CDs at the supermarket? This going nowhere. They do, but there's not a classically usual mainstream pop. Uh, At this moment, new albums are plopping out over the world. Uh, and if only someone brought me a sweet CD they found on the floor. CD, huh? If I were fine, I should tell Buki about it. Well, I, I will once I get my... get to the beach so I can get stuff. Yo! 
Yo, Hajime! Hey, good morning. Oh, hey. oh you're looking better than usual. And I met is like that too. Did something happen? Oh, Fahiko said. Oh, that's right. She like ran off and like, <laughs> like oh no, I need it. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, you know he's alive. I mean, you're in the same. Never mind. I don't know why, but I also feel like I can eat more delicious food than you. Oh, right. Speaking of which, why don't I challenge my limits? I'm gonna eat everything in the restaurant. And if she's not aware of it, Akane definitely looks happy too. Okay. Alright, you little jerk. Come on now. Jeez. I don't feel like we're forced to be at the restaurant every morning. There's not even to find at the supermarket today. So fine, let me help you. It's fine, I'm just gonna look for a camera. I'll probably find it really Jeez. fast. How annoying. You're annoying. Jerk. Oh, wait. Here. My bad. Hold up. There you go. Okay. Talk to me. Good morning. Abby, you don't sound that excited. Kazuchi's playing that arcade machine over there. Let's play it together. I played one match of art. He told me to give it my all, so I did, and I got yelled at for winning a, a flawless victory. He said I was childish for playing seriously against an amateur. Kazuchi, I wonder which one's more childish. It's you, sir. Yo! Oh, Hajime, how are you? Playing a game? It's rare to see you playing games. Mm. Now, Chucky's always into playing it, right? I couldn't help noticing. So she's letting me play for a little while. Okay. Not like this is my machine. There's no reason for me to give you permission. You, you say that, but you're like the queen of the arcade machine. You think so? Really? You serious? I'm not aware of that at all. Uh, After getting beaten up in a previous match, I'll definitely return nope. the favor. You don't have to return the favor. <gasps> what did you say? Are you saying I just have to stay a loser? <laughs> Let me tell you that you're totally catch this topic's bait. You wanna listen, right? 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 You just really wanna say it. Mm. Then what is it? Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know what he was getting at, honestly. This would be a maze. There's a street on the third island with lots of busted machines, right? That's a por portable game console thing in the junk over there. <laughs> really? Is that true? <laughs> I tell you, you totally took the bait. But still, it looks like this is out of order. Aww. Useless. Hey, hey. What do you think I am? I'll totally fix it up till it's like brand new. <laughs> That's all fixed, I'll give it to you. No, oh, wait, but I won't look forward to it, probably. <laughs> Or two hours, I'll be sad, you know. Just while I please fix it, I'll make you say thank you with tears running in your face. Tears like waterfalls. Isn't his intent kind of off? Yeah, definitely. Faces of everyone together at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyiko's safe. Then. They ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together information about the new island. Jeez! Yeah, we couldn't even find a way to escape from this island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes! There's a music venue! I see. Yeah, that, but what about the clues that we really need? Who's like, information about this island, right? They might help us understand what's happening to us. <laughs> Tell with all those machines, I found a clue contained within a file inside one of the laptops. You saw that too? Um, I was told about that by Nagito, so I checked it out as well. This too, I saw the will of causality. Saw it too. It's about the fact that Hope's Peak Academy has already been destroyed. <laughs> it's already been destroyed. Well, it's probably just another one of Mama Kuma's pranks. There's no way Hope's Peak Academy would fall. Even as a prank, it's not something he should be allowed to do. <laughs> Simple of Hope getting destroyed. My eyes are all swirly again. It's not something you should even joke about. <laughs> If you're so worried about it, it might be better if you just confirm for yourself. <laughs> I'm here to do it, I'll give it a try. So basically, on that island we found no way to escape, nor any useful... <laughs> oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> you don't have to correct us each time. It is not all bad news, Fihik will be able to return to us. <laughs> that guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think that he's, that he's gonna come back to us. It's true, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. Ever. <laughs> He's probably lost the use of his right eye. Forever. <laughs> he totally deserves that. Man. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. Jeez. It's early eat a lot. I didn't listen to what the others are um, saying. Okay, then, since I'm stuffed, I should go train now. Oh. 
train, you say? You hate training. How rare of you. Yeah. Oh, what are you? <laughs> if I don't, if I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my, my. She's like really pumped up. Huh? She's not thinking about doing anything bad. <laughs> With that, our morning meeting ended, and we all went back to our cottages. <laughs> Now then, what should I do today? Ah, God.